okay, we've set our backlash. Now to confirm that our backlash is correct and our pinion depth is correct, I've painted the convex side of three gear teeth with some gear tooth marking paint. I'm now going to rotate the bevel gear using the pinion in the clockwise direction so the pinion drives on the convex side of the gear. We put a pry bar in behind the bevel gear and as I rotate it, my assistant is going to load tension on the back side of the bevel gear to create some rotational resistance. You want to make sure that when we rotate the painted gear teeth through the pinion that you do it as one fluid motion so that you don't get any backwards movement on the gear tube. I will now rotate this back up to the top. And our gear tooth pattern is centered between the face and the flank and you can notice right at the very end of the toe that I have some undisturbed gear tooth paint which is where I want to be. That is my correct tooth pattern for this gear setup.